think that I would do things different, but you never know. Um, I just know I'm thankful that what my past has put me where I am today. And if I could stop anybody from falling in some of those pitfalls, you know, I, I let them know. It's actually a question I've written down I was going to bring up later, but I guess I'll bring it up right now. Okay. Is Gene Thornton as No Malice mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. If you had the ability and you happen to find a time machine and you were able to go back 10, 15 years and run into Gene Thornton as Malice back right. then, Right. Two part question. First part would be what would you say to him that you want to say to him? Mm -hmm. And second part question is what could you say that he would actually listen to and would actually could could fathom and grasp hold of? Wow, that that that's an awesome question because uh literally what I would tell him if I could go back is to put God first. That would be the strongest statement that I could deliver to him. Now, how to say it where he would have received it, right. uh, that I don't know. <laughs> you know what That's I'm saying? Right Especially here. being up against uh, so many worldly um, riches, I guess. You know, because that, that, that's a hard battle to try to convey uh, to someone who, who is... is has the good fortune or misfortune, whichever way you look at it, of having uh, quote unquote success. Right. Yeah. So, but definitely I would tell them, you know, you have to put God first in everything you do. Everything right. you do. Yeah. And the funny thing about success is sometimes less is more. Yeah. And yeah. You, and you, you yeah. of all people have publicly let them know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, which is, uh, we have this little thing we have is called uh, individual expressionalism. And it's what we're pushing with the film. And people will say, is that even a word? And it's like, no, it's not a word. It's an action. You know, right. we, you know, express yourself and you listen to that voice on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. Which is something that, I can't think of somebody that did it in a harder way than, than you. Wow. Where people can actually, you had the world's attention, you had everything right there but something was not sitting right with you absolutely and you I'm, I'm sure when you went to go make this decision that you made I'm sure 99 out of every hundred people you ran into was trying to talk you out of it I might yeah. be wrong but yeah no but you, no you took your own stance and like what was what was that like what was I mean without getting too personal of everything that was involved what was it where did you find that strength and how would you portray that to somebody else that hears that call but don't know how to embrace that strength you know and I, I just without running the risk of sounding preachy because right. I'm very calculated in, in what I say and how I say it and I don't have the luxury of sugarcoating anything you know because the things that I went through I would have loved to have kept it to myself and figured it out, oh, and, and make the change. But I was on a stage when this happened, so I have, I have to share it, you know. Um, I would love to have kept it secret and mm -hmm. fix what needed to be fixed and, you know, mm -hmm. come again. But it was a reason I was in the position uh, that I was in when, when these things took place. And you asked me about that, that strength, and I'm telling you, I could not do that by myself. Mm -hmm. I could not, mm -hmm. after being the dope dealing, Porsche driving, gold chain hanging, you know what I'm saying? And to take off your cool and and try to tell, it, it, it is a truly, and I wish I could stay away from this word, but it was a true revelation. Mm -hmm. And once you see something, when you see it yourself, Unless you can deny yourself, then you can hide and act like you ain't seen it. But I have to live with myself, and I know what I saw, and I saw the power of a holy God. Right. And, and, and listen, and listen, and I'll keep it short, but, you know, when I read the Word of God, I see so many parallels of my current life that I almost like wow 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 this happened and this is what I'm going through it's like personalizing and the prophecy it's it like, was it was what 
I, I call it personalizing the prophecy. Definitely, definitely, <clears throat> it, it like became this, personal this to me. For me. Exactly, like exactly, that. exactly. And if I'm a realist, bro, so you know, if I didn't see it, trust me, I'd go back to you know right, clips. Right. If I didn't see it, but I saw it. Right. I saw it. It's real to me, and and, and it's definitely real. So that that strength. Absolutely came from God, not not of myself. I I, didn't, I don't even have that kind of power to to make a change like this. Right. Yeah. You um you always uh, I've known you for a long time, man. You've always uh had to do things your way in a, a weird sense of way. I remember I was talking to someone about this the other day. I think it was like the eighth or ninth grade yearbook picture. I think it was Brandon. <laughs> Everybody was taking their picture like this. You were wearing a pair of gazelles like this. <laughs> it was just all big. Wow. Like, like this dude wow. was doing his own thing. Like, 